The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now, John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. When uh, I was studying in Rome, my dad's youngest sister, my aunt, and her family came to visit. And it was a wonderful time. It was the first time I had family come to visit me in Rome. And we rented a van, or my uncle rented the van, and we drove all over. We went to Florence, and we went down to Sicily to see the house where my grandfather was born and all that kind of stuff. And one of the things that struck me so much was when you're driving, especially like from Rome to Florence, and when you're driving, or several other places, but especially from um, Messina to Palermo, along the Autostrada, you go from tunnel to bridge to tunnel to bridge. It's pretty hilly and mountainous. And instead of going up a mountain or curving around and around and then back down through a valley and up again and down again, you go right through. They've drilled all these holes through the mountains. In, in Toscana, you have these incredible views of these rich, rich agricultural valleys. And in Sicily, you have these incredible views of the sea. It's really, really spectacular. That, in a way, I think, is what Isaiah is talking about and what John the Baptist is talking about. The land between Jerusalem and Jericho, Jerusalem and the Dead Sea, Jerusalem and the River Jordan, is pretty hilly. They call them mountains. I don't know if we would call them quite mountains. But there's a lot of up and down and winding around and around and around and around. Today, you can get from Rome to Florence, at least according to Google Maps, in two hours and 51 minutes if there's light traffic, like there was when I checked. Think of how long it would have taken the people in the days of the Roman Empire to get from Rome to Florence. It would have been days and days and days. And now you can do it just like that. The same with Jesus' day. It took them a long time. You didn't just get in your bus like we do today if you're on a pilgrimage and get in a bus and go down to the Dead Sea and an hour after you've left Jerusalem, you're there uh, already floating in the water. And that's what Isaiah tells us God wants to do with us. Get rid of all these obstacles Let it be a straight highway so God can come right to us. It's really an incredible, incredible, beautiful vision that they lay out. And I think personally, I think that has influenced Pope Francis greatly. And that's why he, a few years ago, we had the year of mercy. And now during this pandemic, we have 
general absolution once again made available to us. So that what it's, what it's doing, in a sense, is breaking down all the hills and the valleys and allowing us or allowing God to come straight to us without having to go through any detours and any long, arduous climbs and descents and all of that. God comes right to us doing, as Isaiah tells us in that beautiful, beautiful, you know, God comes with might. And you think, "Uh oh, but no, this is how God comes with might. Feeding his flock like a shepherd, gathering the lambs in his arms and carrying them in his bosom, gently leading the mother sheep. That's what God does to us. And, you know, almost all the prophetic books in the Bible were written during very difficult times in the history of God's people, in the history of the biblical Israel. Very difficult times. The Babylonian captivity, the Assyrians, the this, the that. And what they offer is this incredible message of hope. So today, in these difficult times of a pandemic, so we buried, uh, on Friday, we buried Olinda Mascarin at 100. It would have been her 111th birthday. She's one of the very, very, very few people that lived through two major global pandemics, the Spanish flu and now COVID. She didn't quite live through it all, but she didn't have COVID. It's a difficult time for all of us. We're here wearing masks. We don't know what's going to happen if we go into gray, what that's going to mean. It'll probably mean no public masses and all kinds of stuff like that. But what we do know is what Isaiah tells us and what John the Baptist tells us. God wants to do everything possible so that we can experience the goodness, the joy, the mercy and the forgiveness that he offers over and over and over again.